最近咧，好多人知道咗我又同外国人拍拖之后咧，都对异国恋呢一个问题咧，好多好奇喎。所以今日呢，我就带埋我男朋友 c i n d y 嚟同大家讲下呢个异国恋嘅问题啦。Are you okay to talk about our relationship today? Let's do it. Okay, cool. 但系而家咧，我哋要去搵嘢食先，因为真系好肚饿。我想要呢一个，跟住蘑菇。而家食完嘢啦，好多人都會問究竟喺邊度咧可以識到外國人 ？For us, we know each other from like Bumble,、yeah. dating app. Besides that, I think I don't know by friends or work. Like activities, so there's hiking groups and stuff like that. What is the difference to have a relationship with a local and a foreigner? In this video, when we talk about local, we will focus on more local, local, which means like born in Hong Kong, study in Hong Kong, work in Hong Kong. Foreigner has a lot of、uh, different nationality. It's more difficult to speak for them, so let's、sure. speak from a Hong Kong and a European. Okay.、So、a lot of people will say, "Oh, if you、uh, date with a foreigner guy, then you need to get prepared. They will do AA, which is split the bill, and more like local Hong Kong, they will like pay because that is what they learn and that's soon."、Uh, it's very very common in the Netherlands to split the bill,、um, even with dates and stuff. But I would say it's less common than people think. Uh, so I have a lot of、uh, how do you say it, Western foreign friends. They would split the bill less often on a date than、uh, Dutch people.、Um, I also don't do it. So if I want to impress the girl, if I like the girl,、uh, I wouldn't ask to split the bill. So now you learn the tips that if the person asks you to split the bill, that is a chance that he not liking you. But again, don't take it black and white.、But、another thing that people would think is foreigner, more like open, like playful, flirty, playboy. Don't get really serious in relationship. You just want to like have fun. Two two things I would say: if you go to Lang Kwai Fong, TST, Mong Kok, and stuff, you'll definitely see all sorts of people, a lot of locals as well, having fun and playing around. So guys and girls. So don't think it's it. It's a black and white thing.、Mm -hmm. I do think that most、uh, foreigners might not tend to settle in Hong Kong. There are、uh, foreigners that would come here on a business trip or、mm -hmm. stay here for a six-month secondment. So, dating-wise, I'd say、uh, they're very willing to to date and commit. However, if you then start talking, is the next step like marriage, kids, staying permanently in Hong Kong. I think there is a potential issue. Yeah. So that is another tip. If you are really interested to know a foreigner partner, just ask what is the plan. Are they going to stay in Hong Kong, or are they looking for like really serious long-term relationship? And the last thing I think the difference is like local. They will ask you for your schedule.、Uh, what are you wearing? Who are you with? When will you go home?、The、more protective concern, or I don't know, you can say control. But then with a European guy, you need to be more independent. They give you more freedom. Most of them doesn't really care about what you're wearing, as long as you're safe. And they don't really care if I go out with a guy or. Of course, not one by one. I guess it depends then, on trust. Yeah, yeah it's it more like trust. trust, and you are an independent person. We move to another country without our family, so、uh, so we have to take care of ourselves. So we grow accustomed、mm -hmm. to living by ourselves rather than staying with our parents until our thirtieth. So that independence has kind of grown. Onto us over the years、mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, and we'd like the other party to have a similar independence. It doesn't mean that we don't care.、Uh, in fact, what we're actually looking for is is someone that can be an equal partner, rather than someone that I feel I have to take care of. Don't get me wrong. When Jessie is single, of course, I'll do anything to take care of her. That is a culture thing as well. As、uh, in the culture, once you grow up to eighteen, you tend to like move out and live by themselves. And、It's、I think likely, that is yeah. yeah. And which in Hong Kong, most of us will still live with family because, I mean, the cost is very high, and everyone do that. Benefit is you get a guy that cleans the house and does the laundry and dishes. Well, I do that too. We're talking about guys, right? Of course, you do it. 
Well, I'll talk about in general, but yeah, I need to protect my image, all right? A lot of people said Western or European is more direct. If you said yes to something, it means yes. If I said no to something, it means no. So, because sometimes in Chinese or Cantonese, you offer me something, I said, oh, that's, that's okay, that's okay, I don't need. But you need to offer me a few more times. So I said, oh, okay, thank you so much. Something For like sure, that. I, I would be like, okay, cool. This is back to culture. For them, they don't have our culture, which you need to say no a few times to get yes. To be in relationship with a foreigner, just make sure you don't have the local mindset because they don't know it. They don't like grow up with those kind of cultures. So now we go to the other culture difference that I think is very common. It's food. I need to have hot breakfast as a Chinese, and then he need to have a cold breakfast. I'm not talking about this Western food or Chinese food, and I'm very uh, Asian food lover. And for him, he like like pasta, pizza. We don't grow up with eating soup for breakfast, which if you have noodles with soup, it's the soup. Mm -hmm. So if you give me cold noodles for breakfast, I can totally do it. So it's not the Asian food. If you give me sushi for breakfast, I find it weird, but I can totally do it because it's cold. Um, but most of the time, I grew up with bread that and and uh, cold cuts on top, like a cheese or a salami, or a jam, or peanut butter on top of the bread. Uh, so I think that's where the difference comes from. Mm -hmm. Just by imagining what you said for a breakfast, but already ha. Huh? And here's another tip. Um, I understand that it's uncommon for her, so she would freak out. I don't put her facial expressions as my identity of who I am. I would enjoy my breakfast a lot. Do I need to speak like very good English to like have a relationship with foreigner? For me, at least, uh, language is only for communications. So as long as I can express what I feel, what I think, and he can understand me, I can understand him, then that is enough and fine for me. So for me, it's no. But I know some people, no matter if it's English or Chinese, uh, you will expect they speak in a more elegant way. Uh, like in Chinese, you probably expect or in English, you want them, to, I don't know, speak Shakespeare, make it very elegant. Then you at least need to reach certain level. But I think for most of the people, you don't need to. And the fact that in the world, even though a lot of people speak English, but most of them are not native English speakers. So most of them doesn't really mind. I'm a Dutch person and English is also my second or third language. The two types of guys or girls I wouldn't want to date is one that changes my grammar without me asking for help. Mm. And two, the one you mentioned, uh, someone that expects me to, to speak very eloquently, use very difficult terms and stuff like that for basic communication. So as long as you're not afraid to communicate mm -hmm. and you don't, uh, how do you say, it, put your insecurities and identity with your level of English, you're going to be great. Very often language or context is far more important than the exact word you're looking for. And I remember in our relationship, um, there were times that Jesse didn't know the word, so she made a sound. And because of context, I knew exactly what it was about. I um, remember at the beginning, that is how I forgot how to say farts, like form K. <laughs> I think uh, I, I ate something, so I have a lot of <laughs> today. <laughs> and then he understand. Yeah. So, yeah, that is just for communication. If one day you forgot what is the word, you just hit him, then he know what you're talking about. That I did about. wrong, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to expect perfect communication. How often have you felt miscommunicated with your parents or frustrated with your parents and they speak exactly the same language as you so i would like to say it's more common than you think to miscommunicate whatever language you use it's true most of the time when you have language uh, difficulty you would think more and you will try to understand more what you want to present and what they got the meaning can be completely different a lot of people will say that is not my mother tongue so when i argue with the other person i will never able to express exactly what i said Especially Chinese, the same word can have like all a lot of different meaning, or even some like Chinese word 
you cannot really direct translate into English. At least for me, I don't like argument and I don't really focus on that. As long as we can communicate and solve the problem, it's fine. If you know that is very important to me, I need to swear in Cantonese and blah, 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 then just find local or teach your partner. Swear words. <laughs> don't learn it though.